This is Jamie Boyum in Henderson. I'm here at Fairway Ford, where as you can see, they got a little bit of hail damage. Uh, in fact, nearly every vehicle in this lot uh, was hit pretty hard. And I am here with uh, Clayton Kirsch. Hello. You are a managing partner here. And uh, so what, uh, th this hit when you guys were still here, right? We were still here, still had customers on the showroom, and uh, it, it came up rather quickly. And, you know, normally you expect a hailstorm to last, you know, five or ten minutes, and we had a good 15, 20 minutes of very substantial size hail that did a tremendous amount of damage. Yeah, I was looking uh, through the lot here, and it looks like every single vehicle was hit and uh, dented in some way. And some uh, lost windshields, uh, windows. Uh, this one is crazy looking. I mean, it almost looks like bullet holes. Yeah, I've never seen one with precise holes like that to go completely through you know we got a lot of uh, busting and shattering but nothing like this uh, with such a defined hole yeah, yeah. and it's uh, a lot of sunroofs i guess took a lot of sunroofs a lot of windshields uh, you know also most ford as well as other brands switched to aluminum vehicles so this is the first uh, major incident we've had with so many aluminum vehicles so it'll definitely be a, a first for us yeah Wow, and it's and you had uh, customers here at the time too. We had right? customers here. We actually had a customer signing on a vehicle during the storm. Luckily, he was inside of our uh, Make Ready Bay, getting detailed and filled up, so it missed the weather. But uh, definitely a scary situation for us, and uh, and as well as our customers have already called us, reported a lot of damage. Yeah, I'm sure. So. Gosh, you just got to throw your hands up in the air in a situation like this. We do. Uh, we're pretty close-knit here. Uh, small town. Work well together. We've already made the necessary phone calls this morning to get the process going. So hopefully we'll start to put the pieces back together so we can in turn help our customers who had problems. And a lot of total vehicles I'm hearing. We can get them back into a reliable vehicle that they feel good about and uh, get them back on the road. Yeah. And, uh, and unfortunately, though, nobody hurt. Here. Nobody's hurt, and all of our employees here, that their personal residents and families are all good, which is the important thing. Uh, I can fix the cars, replace the cars. I can't replace the people I have here. They're very important to us, and, and luckily, uh, no one was injured, and everybody's good to go. And uh, how many vehicles do you think were uh, damaged? Uh, we've got a rough estimate right now of about 96 vehicles on the ground here that uh, are damaged. That's pretty much all of them? Pretty much all of them ranging from a complete total to, you know, just some minor hail damage on the hood. So, time will tell. Yeah, so I guess uh, just waiting on insurance now. Waiting on insurance and uh, waiting on the repair team to get here and start assessing the damage and start fixing it. Well, I know you're a busy guy. I got a lot of things to do uh, today. A, little, a few more than usual, apparently. A little bit. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Mm -hmm. Thanks again for speaking. Thank you, sir. Right. We'll have more later on KLTV 7 News and KLTV.